so I just finished my workout at the gym. And as you saw, we trained uh, shoulders and chest and uh, core. And a bit of cardio as well in the end. So it was a really good workout actually. I got a really good pump and it felt like I hit every single muscle group that I was supposed to hit like really good. I think I managed to do to do a pretty good workout. I mean, like I only did the, or some, maybe some motions were pretty like, you need a good form to manage them. But I think otherwise you can't actually really learn from those things I did because most of the, the things I did were, it's really easy to, to learn and master if you just like work on it. Just remember the form, I mean, I didn't lift that that heavy actually like rather than uh, lifting heavy go with a weight that you can handle really because if you go with a weight you can't handle it's you're just gonna hurt yourself and you gotta get an injury of some sort and then you can't train and the injury will always be there so for example if you injure your shoulder or something you are always gonna notice when you when you do something where you have your shoulders in so I think it's, I think I really did a good workout. I mean, some of the reps were, wasn't that good. I mean, every single rep can't be like perfect. So I just like learned that if you do the last rep, it's better than leaving it out. I mean, cause when you get to the end of the work or the set or the sets, it's, it gets pretty heavy. And rather than leaving it out, it's better if you just like lift it with a, I mean, you can't have a shitty form that like out of control, but I mean, worse than you usually have because it gets pretty heavy. So you need to, you need to really get like the bar up. You, you don't want to fail because then you're just going to be mad at yourself. So I tried to show you the things and I tried to record as many motions as I could. So if you if you want to take note of something, you can like add those things up to your workout as well. And uh, do it by yourself. Just like remember the form and not go too heavy if you haven't done it before. Because uh, like, as I said, you're just gonna injure yourself if you have a bad form and when I looked through the content of mine, uh, some of the, the things looked pretty bad, but they actually were pretty good because like the camera angle of my, my camera were pretty shitty because I don't have a stand for my phone. So it's much harder to record than having a stand. So like the angles got from uh, uh, like lower than my head. So it looks pretty bad. Especially when I did the flies, it looked like I my shoulders were pretty like outstanding, but they they weren't because that's like rule number one when you do flies to have your always to have your shoulders like backwards because if you if you roll over your shoulders to the forward, you just gonna like use your shoulders instead for using your chest, and you you probably gonna injure your shoulders and training something that you weren't supposed to do so just like if you if you aren't sure about how to do an emotion just like google up the thing and you will probably find some guides on youtube when when other fitness athletes are doing the same thing so then you can like take take notes and take learn from what they say because they usually know pretty good at least myself i've learned from from them and some others like friends of mine and like other people as you like as you do in the normal life you learn things so that's like the best thing to if you if you if you aren't sure how to do it just don't do it just like get the facts about how you do the actual form and how you hold your body because that's the really what's matter how you do the motion because if you for example, if you are doing curls and if you are just curling the halfway and you are swinging your body, then it's just like too heavy and then you can't, you don't hit your biceps in the way as you should do. So 
that's a really good thing to remember to just check out those things you are like unsecure on and you will probably like grow better and faster and of course like the workout maybe is only 30% of the the actual thing I mean everything else happens at home in the kitchen you you have to eat consistent and you have to have protein in your body all the time so if you think you only can hit the gym and then don't do and not doing anything else then you are completely wrong because I talked so as well when I started to lift I like I talked when I start to lift, if I lift now and I take a, a shake afterwards, like a protein shake, I'm just gonna grow like overnight and have a enormous bicep. But that's not the thing, or that, that's, that's not the case, how you grow. You, it takes a bit of time. I mean, <laughs> you, you are doing this for yourself. I mean, don't expect to see to re results after one training or one week or one month even. Just like, Take your time, eat right, and uh, and be consistent all the time. Because the food is like everything, and then you add the workout, and then you grow. That's the Hello. that's the thing how you how you really grow. So those things you should remember. So now probably some I talked like same things over and over again, I guess. But I hope to. You really enjoy it now because I tried really to record as many many things as I could uh, to not like to avoid to get people in the in the video as well because that's like just annoying and maybe don't they don't want to be in so yeah that's that's it see you at home again so we're back from the gym now and as I told you before I want to show you the supplements that I take before, during and after my workouts. So let's begin. So the first supplements that I'm using is standard whey, like protein powder, as you want to pronounce it, like basic protein powder. So protein, 24 grams each scoop, each serving and some BCAAs as well as some acids. So this is really good after the workouts to start your recovery right away. And the reason why I go with the gold standard is because the taste is really good and it blends really good into like with water it blends really quick with milk and into pancakes and some other drinks as well if you want to like use it in between your meals. So this is the reason why I go with the gold standard one. And the next one I'm using is amino acids and BCAAs as you maybe know the name better. Uh, this is helping with your recovery as well. So I take one scoop of this each workout or during the workout. And I really like the taste of the Algae B Lab brand. So that's the reason why I go with this. And the last supplement that I use is creatine powder. And this is like, like, I guess all of you have heard of creatine and all of you are using, or if you are a beginner, I really recommend to use this one because what creatine does, or it doesn't work for everyone, so you need to try it out and see if you see some difference. But you will see a slightly increase in muscle, muscle volume and in strength as well. So that's the reason why I go with the creatine. And I really feel like I get a really nice pump during the workout as well when I'm using creatine. So, I mean, if you wanna have a nice pump, see a slightly increase in muscle volume and strength, then I really recommend to use creatine. And I just have like Nutramino now, not sponsored. None of these brands are sponsored, by the way. So like there are so many brands having creatine. So basically all of the creatines are the same, but some brands have some different creatines in it. But this is like the most common one, the creatine monohydrate. And this is the one I recommend as well, because this is the one binding the water into your muscles. So that's why you will see uh, increase in muscle volume So yeah, that's these are the three basic supplements that I use I don't use anything more than like standard vitamins that you can buy from a pharmacy So I just want to keep it simple to go all natural all lean So if you want to try something out, I really recommend some of these or all of these So like the brand doesn't really matter just like Read the facts about the product you are going to use before you use it, so you are 100% sure what it does. And take learn from others, see what they say, if they recommend the product. I mean, 
I can, with the hand of my heart, I can recommend all of these because I've seen slightly, or I've seen, I mean, the protein, using protein, it will take time to see increases in uh, volume, of course, but I feel this works really good. It tastes really good and etc. And the creatine as well and the BCAA for the recovery. So these are the three supplements that I use, but you don't have to use them if you don't want to. You can just like, Eat good, sleep well, have a good workout plan, and then you are all set, good to go. So that's basically all or everything I have to say from for this vlog. So I really appreciate that you have watched the vlog to the end. And if you like the video, feel free to like. And if you dislike, you know what to do. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like the content that I'm doing. And see you in the next vlog. Peace out, everyone.